Oh, wow, that's right. This is tape from Manchester, England. England, oh, Ireland. England, oh, Ireland. England, oh, Ireland. Oh, wait, oh, wait, oh. Oh, wait. Slicks. Hi, Slicks. Hello. Can you see me, Slicks? Oh, wait, that's... Oh, yeah, this is going... Uh-oh. They heard me sing. I can't be good. Actually, my singing was better than SmackDown today. SmackDown. There's not enough the happy juice to make me enjoy SmackDown, and, and now I feel sad because have happy juice is going to be gone. Uh, cheers. Uh, there's one more good swallow full of happy juice, also known as red wine. Because today is a red wine and pizza Friday. It's a red wine and pizza smackdown day. And I actually had to go into work. I got called in. So it'll be another week until I make a graphic for this. In fact, I should eventually make a graphic for all my shows. But, I don't know, we'll see. I guess the good news is Monday, Monday, I don't have to work that night. So that means I get to do my normal show for Raw. Tuesday, I don't work Tuesday night either. But I do work Friday night. I'll tell you what. Based on this SmackDown, I'm okay with that. They said about two weeks' time, it'll be Survivor Series. So that's the 24th. That's okay, because I still have 21 more days left in the Hobo Corner. So if you do not know, I am the one, the only Hobo. Tom, you're watching the Hobo, and, and, and well, one day I'll have another girlfriend. Wrestling show. Um, I'm here to talk about SmackDown. Uh, last week was amazing. This week, you know what? I need some more happy juice. Mm. Not so much. In fact, I'm not going to show you the bottle, but this week's Red Wine and Pizza Smackdown was brought to you by Behringer Pink Moscato. Because I actually had a buffalo chicken pizza, which was actually pretty good. Ooh, it's because it was stuffed crust, too. Stuffed crust is good. But So again, I want to say hi to Slicks! Slicks! You're still the man. Oh, I forget if he lives near Manchester or if this is that's the wrong part of England. I don't know. Um, starts off, well, just to start the show off, we start off with a promo from King Corbin. People are not digging King Corbin. You don't make fun of the Royals in England. I think that's the one thing WWE has to take away from this. From the New Day, I have a promo. Again, they're, they, they shout out to Xavier Woods, who's recovering from a torn Achilles, I think. And that's going to take a good year to heal up. So you think even with basketball players, I want to say it's about nine months to a year. Because generally, you, t you tear your Achilles out for the season. Um, I'm wearing my NXT shirt because I wanted to feel positive about the show. And I'll tell you what, the show started off shockingly good. But the bad moments... Or bad. Actually, actually, you know, SmackDown's been suffering this recently. Just like Raw. The wrestling's actually, looking back at it, the wrestling was actually pretty decent. Minus, I think, a couple, two matches, I think. Everything else, I mean, was not enjoyable, though. Um, so it's New Day versus The Revival for the SmackDown Tag Team Champion. 
And for a while there's like, did B just just shoot injured Wilder? No, Wilder was because I'm looking, I'm like, I didn't see what the Wilder did the old trick. In fact, I'm gonna downgrade this match. Because of Wilder's antics. Um, he did the kind of heel fake injury. Because when he came back from break, he's like, oh, he's fine. I've seen that a little too often. When you see it too often, especially when the referee actually shows real concern, that makes it look real. This, not so real. Uh, getting so he had the fake injury. Kofi eventually gets in. He, of course, picks up the pace of the match, much faster pace. He flies. He eventually does take out both members of Revival. Revival. They do that suplex splash combination. They do a double team, uh, double team drape DDT in homage of one Randall Orton, who just had a ginormous contract that he put his John Hancock to. Congratulations to Randy Orton. Again, if WWE wanted me for six matches, I'd take 600 bucks. I'd be cheap. Heck, I'd probably take $60, too. $10, yeah, $60 is... Yeah, I could do that. I could... I have $60 worth of bumps in me. Yeah. Um, so eventually the match went on. Eventually it ended. Um... The and every time the New Day tried to get one of their tag team finishers in, for some reason the revival always spoiled it. And I'm like, oh man, the revival's gonna retain, or there's gonna be a huge pot for the New Day. Well, it was actually the latter because it was an assisted trouble in paradise. Big E held up Scott Dawson, I think. And then Kofi Kingston hit the trouble in paradise. And it was a 1-2-3 victory. And it was a good match. You know what? It's hard to ruin this. This is a cheeseburger of a match. And we got a Daniel Bryan promo with Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn's trying to lure Daniel Bryan to the dark side of wrestling. Then Heavy Machinery came down to the, to the ring, and I was getting excited, but they got jumped. But they got jumped by Imperium, which is good, because at least, at least they're across upon Imperium's right by there. Um, I didn't see much. I, I think you just heard, <laughs> heard Otis yell, I'm coming! Fast. Uh, then there was an Evil Bailey promo. Evil Bailey. Evil Bailey looks like Goth emo Bailey. I don't know if that's good or not. Because at least she's not dumb, naive, baby face Bailey. Although I still want to see evil Bailey use a kendo stick. So we'll see. She has that weird, like, eyeliner thing going on. The hair's good. The outfit's good. The makeup. Not so good. Again, some of the, those those female stars put on way too much. Because every so often they just look like plastic face. I know this is a terrible thing to say, but and mainly Becky Lynch and Charlotte Flair are the two notorious people for plastic face. Uh, but then we had a, a actually a really good match with Shinsuke Nakamura and Cesaro, both being managed by. One El Generico. Oh, I mean Sami Zayn. And they take on Ali and, and Shorty G. And I'm like, wait a second. I've heard of Ali G before. No. Oh, oh, no. 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 Why WWE? Oh, that's right. It's WWE. Yeah. I actually cured myself. I used to call it WWF for the longest time. Uh, it was a good match. Very Jesus just kicked in the head to start the match off. Not a good start for them. Again, having your your probably tag team name shortened to Ali G probably isn't a good probably isn't a sign that you're winning either. 
In fact, it's almost like having loose faith. Um, and then Cesaro is so strong, he, he he caught Shorty G. Eventually, just and he's and just humbled him. I mean, he caught Ali at one time, and then of course everyone goes out of the ring so Ali can do flippy stuff. Still pretty good though. I mean, overall, the wrestling in this match isn't bad. The lead up to the match. The antics were good. It's just Ali and Shorty G. Why? I mean, they could have had people from NXT. They could have had oh um those two jobbers. Something boys. I forget what they're called now. Oh no, it was a brother tag team. Oh, it's the Metro Brothers. They could have had they could have had the Brett brothers show up. Or the Metro brothers. And they could have beaten them up. But instead they chose to go the Ali and Shorty G route or the Ali G route. Yeah. Just just a bad choice. The match again was was good though. Cesaro is still the best catcher. What was it that Corey? Oh yeah, he said it's 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 uber impressive. No. Uh, Shinsuke he gets super kicked, which was pretty cool. Zayn of course interferes and Cesaro pushes Ali G down, and that leads to a Kinshasa to the back of Ali G's head by Shinsuke Nakamura. I'll tell you what, the wrestling in this was pretty good though. They could have done a better. The booking was good. Just, just the match itself. Who, maybe more so, who was involved in the match could have been better. But for the most part, this was another cheeseburger match. Or actually, you know what? Uh, it's too late for that. I should call it a fish and chip match. Uh, I'll I'll do that next. Maybe for raw. Maybe for all, just put fish and chips and like haggis. And I guess the best would be a pint of Guinness. I'll figure something out. Uh, then it's Sasha Banks versus Nikki Cross. And Sasha Banks come out to a new theme. And it sounds like they did a mashup of the Street Profits sound. Because it had that. And you're like, huh? And then it was Snoop Dogg sung out his name, and you're like, oh, did they re- I wonder, did they uh, did they recycle Sasha's theme from WrestleMania when she came out with, with Snoop Dogg? Because she is Snoop Dogg's niece, I think. I forget if they're cousins. Or I think Snoop Dogg's her uncle, though. So that makes Sasha the niece, so that makes sense. But it was Sasha versus Nikki Cross. I'll tell you what, this crowd was dead. For this match, the crowd tried. You could hear him say, Hey, Bailey. Uh, ooh. Ah. Uh, I want to know, would you be my girl? Hey, Bailey. Ooh. Ooh. I'd like to know, would you be my girl? Maybe? Please? <laughs> the crowd was dead, though. They tried to sing the Bailey song. I think they got the Sue Sanzas in. But it was like, this crowd sucks. I'm tired of them playing to my song. So at least she's trying to heal it up. At least on TV. And then Nikki Cross, when they were outside, like yelled something into like the headphones. Ah, ah, ah. Whoa! At least that woke me up. Um, Banks, she's a defiant heel. Again, using heel tactics, going going the full four count and the five count when choking Nikki against the ropes. Just kind of using every kind of advantage that she can. That wrestlers do use. Uh, Nikki, once she's outside, she's the best outside. She just beats up everyone. Cloppers. <laughs> Bailey, which gets a huge crowd. Huge pop, and then she goes on the mic, ah! and it's like, oh, 
Yeah, that, that woke me up. That crowd was dead, though. The only thing that brought the crowd back to life was when was after Sasha put Nikki into the bank statement because Nikki actually did hit a couple Nikki crossbodies. See that, folks? I can be quick. Um, but eventually Sasha does hit the bank statement and Nikki Cross taps out. Again, the hometown girl loses. Wow, this was predictable. So for the most part, it was a ham sandwich of a match. And I should have asked Slicks, what's the equivalent what's the English equivalent of a ham sandwich? So no it would be a cheeseburger, that would be definitely fish and chips. Hard to screw up English fish and chips. La creme de la creme of course having a nice frosty pint of Guinness. I don't know, I'll fast. Slicks, tell me what you know my grading, you know my scale. What's the English equivalent to that? I need the English equivalent to toast. Soup's right, porridge. That makes sense. A ham sandwich? Do English people actually eat sandwiches? Fish and chips is always a cheeseburger. Surf and turf. Probably corned beef and cabbage. Of course, filet mignon would be that frosty pint of Guinness. <laughs> it would be a pint of Guinness and a, and a shot of scotch, Scottish scotch. But the best part about this, Shannon Baser comes out, lives up the crowd, beats up everyone, beats up Sasha, beats up Bailey. That was good. Then it was a Tyson Fury promo. Honestly, I wanted to go clean the dishes. Um, the B team shows up, Braun shows up. Now it's Braun Strowman has a mutual respect with Tyson Fury, and they left together, which is good. Uh, then we had Fire and Desire, which is Mandy Rose and Boo Sonya Deville taking on Dana Brooke and Carmella. And the only reason why I predicted Dana Brooke and Carmella would win is because this match is going to determine who gets to be a part of the Survivor Series team. Someone has to do the job. <laughs> Dana Brooke's best at it. Dana Brooke's also the cutest one there. Oh, she's so Yeah. Um, I think the only thing that made me upset, Carmella stole Princess Kimberly's satellite head scissors. Boo, Carmella. Boo, Sonya Deville. Boo, Mandy Rose. Yay, Dana Brooke. I thought I would never say those words. Boo, Sonya Deville. Now, Sonya Deville does come out. Boo, Sonya Deville. Beats up Carmella. Carmella deserves to be beat up because she stole my princess Kimberly's satellite head scissors. Moose thief. Terrible. She should be locked up in the Tower of London indefinitely. Yes. Um. <laughs> I just said boo, everyone. And you can also hear him calling the spots, too. That's. My semi pet peeve. I laugh at it and I, I'll make fun of it at the same time. Not as bad as John Cena. John Cena, you can hear him in the cheap seats. Five moves of doom, ready, break. But now, like, it's like, like, get out of this. Oh, what else did they say? Kick me, or it was something really bad. And you can tell, like, they half wanted to say it. And half like giving them directions. It was really bad. Um, Sonya Deville gets beat up. Oh, she gets tossed into the steps. That's pretty impressive. Dana Brooks really athletic. Dana Brooks really cute too. She has that like girl next door. Cute too. Ooh, yeah, it makes me smile. She got tossed into the steps. That was a great bump by Sonya Deville. Boo, Sonya Deville, though. Boo. Uh, eventually, Manny Rose does eat the pin from... Oh, no, Sonya Deville eats a pin because Dana Brooke had a cent on. I don't know if it was like that 2% botch 
who's kicked out of everyone kicks out of sentons though. But boo Sonya Deville did not good boo Sonya Deville got her comeuppance. I'm happy. I'm happy. That means this is a cheeseburger of a match. It'll also be a fish and chips match. Indeed. I should get those just for like the show or something. I'll, I'll have to figure out something. I should find slicks anyway. Um, then the main event of the evening was Roman Reigns versus King Corbin. This is the main event? Wow. I have to make a video about this. How low we've fallen. This match was not fun. The crowd was poo-pooing Baron Corbin because, again, there's only a couple of members of royalty. If you're going to call yourself royalty, at least be at least have Lord Steven Regal come out. Who else would be WWE royalty? I think he's the only one. Lord Macken, Duke Drew McIntyre. You really can't use King and Queen over there. That's that's no no. Um, but Roman comes out. He doesn't wait long. He beats up Corbin, which is good. Uh, they do trade the ten count punches in the corner. Eh. Then Dolph Ziggler and Robert Roode come out to save Corbin. Yeah, I don't get that. Um, I was hoping Roode was, be, Roode was like, you know, we just want to beat up Roman Reigns because we're coming back to NXT. I I wish, and I'm sure he wishes too. Uh, but like in Corbin, he's the rest hold king. That we're kind of next stretch he does, yeah. Um, but eventually, Rude tries to distract Roman Reigns. Eats a Superman punch. Dolph Ziggler gets up in the ring. Eats Superman. Eats spear. And then Baron Corbin, off of a shocked Roman Reigns, hits the end of days, and and Baron Corbin wins. Impressive. But that was all SmackDown, and that match itself, it was a ham sandwich of a match. Yeah, I don't know the English equivalent of a ham sandwich. Cause soup would definitely be porridge. Oh, maybe toast is just toast. English muffins are actually pretty tasty. Actually, it's probably the opposite. Porridge is toast. Soup would be an English muffin. I just need to know what a ham sandwich is. And that was SmackDown? Wow. Only good thing about SmackDown, it only lasted two hours. And that's it. Um, tomorrow night, I am happy because I am watching AEW and I've already put up my predictions for full gear. And then after that, I only have 20 days left because I want to say that first weekend of December, I'm doing a live stream of Triple A, which means you'll be able to see the matches here. Hosted by this guy, Hobo Tom. That should be fun. I, I wonder if I could have friends over too. Ooh, that'd be fun. I have like Mexican street food. Honor of AAA. That'd be pretty fun. Oh, but that was SmackDown. Thanks, guys, for listening. Slicks, get back in.